So if you have a vehicle and you think the purge valve might be stuck closed, I thought I'd go over some of the symptoms of this and how you go about telling if it is stuck closed. And so what are some symptoms when the purge valve is stuck closed? Well, first of all, very likely the engine light's gonna come on since the onboard computer is gonna be reading error codes inside of the system. So very likely the engine light's gonna come on. You very likely are gonna fail an emissions test since the EVAP system is a part of emissions. And if that purge valve is stuck closed, then you very likely are gonna fail an emissions test. You might get worse fuel mileage than you usually do. This can vary between vehicles, but sometimes they get worse fuel mileage and sometimes there can also be a gas smell coming up inside the vehicle. Since the EVAP system is taking gas vapors from the gas tank and feeding them back into the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere, if they're not going into the engine, sometimes they can seep into the vehicle and sometimes the smell will be inside the vehicle. So sometimes that happens. And next up is that you'll get an EVAP code. So when that purge valve is stuck closed, the onboard computer is going to read this and it's going to give a code. And so how do you test that the purge valve is stuck closed? The first thing to do, if you can, is to use an OBD2 scan tool to read for any codes that might be on the computer. And this is really easy to do. Every vehicle manufactured after 1996 has what's called an OBD2 port underneath the driver's side dashboard. And you basically just plug this in and say read codes. And then when it gives you a code, it'll point you to what the problem is. So for example, if you pull up a P0496 code, It'll be an evaporative emission system high purge flow. And that's a common error code when that purge valve is failing. Another example would be P0497, EVAP system low purge flow. That's another common code that often gets pulled up. If you don't have an OBD2 scan tool, automotive stores will often come out and scan the codes for free. You might want to call around first to be sure which ones are doing it. But often stores like O'Reilly's or AutoZone or something like that, quite often they'll come out and scan the codes for free. There's also a lot of low cost OBD2 scan tools. Some for low is like $20, $30. I'll put a link down below if you need one. But the first thing to do if you can is to read that onboard computers to see if there's any error codes. And there's some different ways you can go about testing the purge valve itself to see if it's failed. I made a video on how you go about testing the purge valve. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. But these are fairly simple to test. They're basically just valves that open and close. And like I said, I'll put a link inside the description below if you just want to test the purge valve itself to see if it has failed. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over some of the symptoms when a purge valve is stuck closed and how you go about telling if it is. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.